That's one of the shots in my game that I am really terrible at right now for some reason. It's something that I am trying to work on right now. Like, I have all my MD3s and Gator and those sort of discs out right now just to practice that shot. Because it would have saved me quite a few strokes at Vibram. And it may, like my final uh, upshot on um, hole 18, I probably should have done that. And if I would have done that, well, yeah, I could be a little bit happier than I am now. Anyway, I am working hard to upshoot that. I'm very hungry right now because I did not get to make breakfast. You saw that little time lapse of me cutting up all those vegetables. They're all cut up, ready to be cooked, but I have not made them yet because all the pans were completely baconized and very sticky. But back to practicing sidearms and putting. Get on that grind. Tournament starts on Saturday. It's Thursday right now. I mean, it's so annoying losing a shot that you used to have all the time. Like when I step up to a short shot that requires a left to right, I'm automatically grabbing like a turnover where I should easily be throwing like a Gator or an MD3 just on a little flick. It is so incredibly frustrating to lose that shot. And it just, it's tough practicing it. Like I definitely have the touch and skill. It's just about feeling confident. And I don't know, whenever I step up in a pressure situation, throwing that shot, I feel like I'm just gonna shank it so far left. I don't even know, man. <laughs> And not practicing, you gotta work every day to get better. Like I've taken, I don't know, maybe one to two days off. And before that, my putting felt like completely on point, completely on point. And after just taking the smallest amount of time off, goofing off or doing whatever, which I haven't really been doing, but a little bit, a little bit more than I usually do, it feels so far gone. So I gotta freaking work hard all the time. You gotta stay on the grind, dude, or else you gotta, it's gonna slip away. Use it or lose it. If you want something and you wanna maintain it, you gotta work hard to keep it. <laughs> This golf's been really weird this year. I don't know, like, I kind of want to get into it a little bit. Like at Aussie Open, I played so well there. I averaged like 1067 and lost that tournament, which I think was really heartbreaking and completely changed my whole mindset for disc golf this year. Like a few events afterwards, I did okay. And then I went on tour for a while. I basically thought I was way better than I actually am. And I kind of have continued to have that same mindset throughout the entire year. After Kona Piste, I was, things weren't good in my life. I had a lot of issues going on and I spent a few weeks at home, which really resolved that. And I, that's kind of when I started my practice putting regimen to where I was working every day. I was doing something every day to get better. And I've maintained that kind of thing up until now and I'm really proud of that and I can definitely see the results. Why I'm talking about this and why I mentioned Aussie Open because the Vibram Open was still kind of the same thing. It's really hard to deal with that much disappointment over and over again. I've done that at a lot of events and I'm really sick of doing it and I'm not sure what it's going to take to break through. Is it going to take working hard? Is it going to take patience? Is it going to just it's just gonna take getting lucky, I don't know. I think it's, I mean, I think the right thing to do is to continue working hard, but it's kind of hard waiting that long. Even even though um, Vibram went the way it did, it, it still shows that anything can happen. 
and I just guess I guess I have to have faith that I just need to keep my head in it and continue to have fun which is actually something that's really hard to do sometimes when you do something so well and then at the very end it's taken it all away from you and you're just uh, left disappointed there's so many different ways to look at it like with perspective and whatever else uh, I don't know it's just a 19 year old trying to figure out his life pretty much 90 90 percent of the time I got it pretty awesome I mean you're, you're watching the vlogs I'm pretty much the same person um, off the camera as I am on the camera so I'm living a really good life I have a lot of good support I guess the human human nature is just to be greedy and want to want to win I'm just gonna do all I know how to do is continue to vlog and I guess continue to work hard and I guess work even harder because I guess I guess I guess I guess I guess that's what it's gonna what's gonna take so many questions in my mind ah keep fighting Eagle. but there is something I love to do that really helps me kind of get over all of it is just go out by myself headphones in out in the nature play some disc golf or just really just walk just be with myself that's kind of kind of a really therapeutic thing for me if you're battling with an everyday issue or trying to resolve something personal find your nearest state park or somewhere beautiful because there's a place beautiful at pretty much every place you live in just go there and try to find a sense of refuge it would it it'll do wonders for you I'm a big advocate of that appreciate beauty that's something that the world needs to do better appreciate what we have right here because look at that i'm on a freaking island and look at all those trees and different ecosystems and whatever oh, i'm such a freaking boulder colorado hippie but i'm right i know i'm right on that one thing the one thing i'm sure of is that nature nature will do wonders for you yes however many la hours later breakfast is served yay we got some sort of chickpea rice tomato sriracha whatever it's breakfast slash lunch slash dinner. What the hell, Simon? What? Don't feel me, I'm naked. I was watching that. I took forever to pick it out. You're such a meanie. You're watching Friends? No, I was watching the, whatever. Simon's a jerk. Castro, what convenient time! I didn't even know you were here. You made it. You made it. Wow, that I didn't. Need, this wasn't even planned. I pulled out the camera. This is a great day. Great day. Jordan Castro. Woo! Vlog. Anyway, okay, that was really cool. Um, me and Drew just played around at the course. We, I wasn't gonna probably play today. But he's like, you wanna go play? And you saw that I went all the way to the other side of the island and like see Sinat, Sai Sinat. I don't even know how to say it, but long day of doing whatever. A lot of exercise. Good times. Time to go eat something. I'm hangry. Hangry time. And that's it for the vlog. Uh, today was a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit more toned down. I kind of did my own thing. Me and Drew went to play uh, around, but otherwise I wasn't really hanging around the, the guys all too much today. Just kind of needed a day to myself to think through some things and do whatever. But yes, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Chickpea Nation, keep on dreaming. Thank you.